<laughs> what do you got? <coughs> got 37 for B, 31 for A, 42 for K. Oh, good. Visual kids, so you're kinesthetic. That's good. What's yours? 33 for B, 31 and A, and 33 for K. That's yours. Uh, 33 and B, 32 and A, and 37 and K. What's yours? B, 43, A, 32, K, 37. All right, what's yours? Um, 28 and B, 22 and A, and 21 and K. So 22 and B? Uh, 28. 28, okay. 12 now, 12. 30 and B, 28 and A, and 25 and K. Here, what's yours? 34 and B, 29 and A, and 33 and K. All right. Right there, what we just did there, we just took a method of learning test, because everybody's going to learn a little bit different. So we'll start to use this inside the program to, to be able to individualize it. But you're going to see, regardless of what your dominant method of learning is, you're still capable of using all three, and that's really what we're going to get to, but we'll start off with your dominant form. But something that drives me crazy, think about, things. like if you look at most studies, they'll tell you that the general population is going to be about 45% auditory, which is the A, being able to, you know, just listening, comprehending that way. The other 48 is probably going to be visual, and then the general population, only kinesthetic is about 7%. But you think about baseball, we've tested well over 1,000, and less than 1% are auditory, but... How are most coaches? Most coaches are just telling you what to do constantly, right? So that's that's one of the dilemmas that we face as pitchers. That's one of the reasons why we overthink. All right. 